come in my second City Skylines episode in my series when I'm trying to build a Japanese looking city or Japanese inspired city. So in the previous one and uh, actually the first one I was building a cargo depot on the outskirts of the city and I wasn't really showing or developing any, any real parts of the city. So today we're gonna work on some housing developments in, inside the main part of the city since uh, what I have now is I have few blocks filled with kind of generic looking houses with not much de details. I have some kind of detailed uh, backyards but that's pretty much all of it and I thought that I would add some detail to the location by making this, this one street where I have houses with very detailed back backyards and with all the details so the city when viewed from top down would look like there's a little more going on than just generic looking plain houses everywhere. It may look like it's not much to build for a whole episode, only a few houses, but believe me or not, building all of this took me a few good hours and I'm only showing you a very sped up video, so it's like 15 minutes now, but I've spent so, so long time trying to build this and to make it look proper. So actually the first problem I've encountered is that I, I don't really have that much props and assets for Japanese looking gardens because for the first building I was trying to kind of capture the feeling of more traditional Japanese garden and I kind of managed to do it but I think it's very lacking in some parts because I don't really have the props I would need and also I don't think there's an easy way to, to find them because uh, all the props and assets I, I'm using in this series I just found in some collections because many of them are only maybe Japanese and actually finding them if there were in this collection would probably be impossible for me at least for now. So actually the original plan was to only build these three houses on the street and have the generic looking ones on the other side of the road. And after I finished building this tree and continued developing other parts of the city, I thought that maybe I could make this whole street look more detailed. So there will be some de detail going on between this kind of generic looking box because if I wanted to make all the blocks very detailed it would take me so so much time so obviously I can can do this and I have to use the, the filler houses but also I don't want the, street, the whole city to look too boring because that's not the reason I'm building it. So what you see me do now is actually plop this more generic looking houses next to the, the detailed ones and uh, the, the time lapse will just keep actually building the school next to it and I, I continue building houses since I thought that this building school would be actually fitting them for the next episode so I'm, so I'm leaving it uh, for later and what you see me now now is add some filler vegetation also in my holding some of this cherry blossom trees so why I know that adding this cherry trees everywhere may be kind of cliche trying to make this city more Japanese adding cherry trees because of, of course everywhere in Japan there are cherry trees blossoming throughout the whole year but uh, also why it's cliche I think they look nice and add some uh, contrast to 
the other trees I only the only other colorful trees I have are Jaracanda or something like that I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it but the the more purple ones I'm using them or I have used them in this time lapse already and th that's all for now I, I should probably don't download more colorful trees but also I want to make the city look realistic and having cherry blossom trees kind of has it both because they are realistic they do happen maybe not true maybe they are not blossoming the whole year but they do exist in Japan and they are also colorful so so perfect for what I'm looking for and so now I've placed next three houses on the other side of the street uh, that's the, the footage from the other day I decided to, to build the other side of the street and I'm also making semi-detailed gardens for them but they are not as detailed as the houses on the other side of the street because first of all uh, making gardens not look repetitive and look detailed with also having limited collection of crops is kind of hard task and also I just wanted to kind of get get done with with these houses and continue developing other parts of the project since as you may have noticed I'm calling this video Japanese village and that was the original plan but I've kind of miscalculated the scale of the thing because I'm basing the city on the actual existing village in Japan and uh, I kind of copied the initial street layout but miscalculated the scale and I could fit like twice or even more as much building in, in one block as as the original city had and kind of continued with development of those areas so the city kind of have grown much bigger than I've expected already so I'd probably be building a small city rather than village so the name may be kind of misleading but since I've started with it I probably stick with the name also and what I hope hopefully be building in next few episodes is the train station since the city have grown so much I decided that the proper Japanese city like this would need a train station of some kind and so I'll be building one very soon and the good thing about it is, is that there are actually many detailed assets of Japanese rural and more urban city stations so it will be an easy task in, in terms of getting the right props and it also will be fun I, I believe because I always like things that are rail oriented but didn't really have much ways to, to kind of fulfill this passion let's say but it's not really passion more like an interest but anyway we are getting to the end of the episode I hope you liked uh, what I was building and hopefully you will see in the next episode where I'll be building a high school Anyway, you can enjoy some cinematics of the houses I've built and hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.